The most important factor affects on simulation speed of a simulator is the number of meshes. On the other hand, reducing the number of meshes results in losing the accuracy. In this video, I have explained a method to increase the speed without reducing accuracy in CFT simulator. Here, I have drawn a patch antenna and I suppose to do simulation using frequency solver. You can access mesh settings from both home and simulation headers. At the first step, I use default mesh setting and using mesh view you can see the meshing on the structure. Uh, the total number of meshes in this case is equal to 3267. Then I increase the number of cells to 15. And the total number of meshes will be equal to 5172. I return the number of cells to 10. Obviously, in this structure, the most important part is printed patch antenna element. So, by right click on this patch, I select local mesh property. In this case, I set maximum SF width equal to 3. Therefore, the automatic mesh generator will not exit this SF width for this structure element. If a zero value is specified, it will be ignored and the mesh size will be controlled by the global mesh setting. If you see the navigation tree, this object will be signalized by this icon. This means a non-zero mesh SF width is used in this object. I update the meshes again and it can be seen the total number of meshes on the patch element is more than other elements and the total number of meshes is, uh, is equal to 4605. To have better view, I have compared the meshes in both cases in this picture. I hope you to enjoy this video. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for more.